Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix launching and crashing issue with Dirt 5 game on your computer. So for me, every time I launch the game, it takes around four to five minutes to start the game. So it's taking a lot of time to start the game. So wait for some time. It should go ahead and start the game. Now, still you are unable to launch the, the launch the game, then go ahead and restart Steam. So if the Steam is open. Go to Steam, click on it, and then click on exit. And once you exit out of Steam, Try to restart Steam and that should go ahead and fix the problem. It should launch the game. But still you are facing the problem, then you can go ahead and restart your computer and then restart your Steam and then try to launch the game. The next step is to try to launch the game in game in compatibility mode. So go to Steam, make a right click on Dirt 5, then click on Manage, then click on Browse Local Files, and then make a right click on Dirt 5 exe file. Select properties, go to the compatibility tab, and then over here click on run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 8, and then click on apply, OK, and then try to launch the game. So it has worked for a few users, so it might work for you. The next step is to run the game as an administrator from game installation folder. So again, go to Steam, make a right click, go to manage, browse local files. And then make a right click on the game.exe file and then select properties, go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, then click on apply, OK, and then try to launch the game from here. So make a double click and try to launch the game from here. And the next step is to close all the overclocking apps. So MSI Afterburner is causing the problem for many users. So if this is open, you can go ahead and close it. So make sure that you close all the overclocking application which is running on the computer. Make sure that you exit from here and go ahead and disable Steam Overlay. So make a right click on Dirt 5, then click on Properties. Under the General tab here you can see Enable the Steam Overlay in, while in game. So uncheck this, then click Close and then try to launch the game. Now if you have any other overlay application which is running on the computer, so if you have GE Force Experience running on the computer, go ahead and close it. Now, if you have Discord running on the computer, so you can go ahead and close the Discord. So make sure that you exit from here, make a right click, then click on Quit Discord, and then try to launch the game. Now, the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, so go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD, go to AMD website. So I'm showing for NVIDIA. So you can go ahead and type in NVIDIA drivers, go to NVIDIA website, select your graphic card from the list, and then click on search and then click on download and once the download is done run the exe file then you will see this screen and then click on agree and continue then select the option which says custom and then click on next put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next and once the installation is done restart your computer and then try to launch the game the next thing which has worked for few users is to update the windows 10 to the latest version so go to the start menu then click on settings click on update and security and then click on check for update and once the update is installed restart your computer and then try to launch the game now if your windows is not up to date and if you don't find any update from here because the version 20h2 is not available over here so in that case you can go to microsoft website so you can just type in media creation tool in windows search box in google search and then go to microsoft website and if your previous version is 1909, you can go ahead and get this October update, click on update now and then run this exe file and then it will go ahead and check your computer and then it will go ahead and update your Windows 10 to version 20H2 from here. So after the update, you can go ahead and try to launch the game. And for many users, turning off Windows HDR has fixed the problem. So you can go ahead and if you want to, you can go ahead and turn off this Windows HDR and then try to launch the game and turn on vsync in nvidia control panel so make a right click on your desktop then click on nvidia control panel and then go to manage 3d settings then go to program settings select your game exe file from here so click on browse if you don't find the game over here then click on browse and then go to the game installation folder
and open the game folder so it's in steam folder so open the steam folder and then open steam apps then open common then open dirt file select the game exe file click on open and once the game is added over here select high performance nvidia processor from here and then over here scroll down and here you can see vertical sync and you can go ahead and turn this on from here click on apply and then try to launch the game now try to lower down video quality in, in game settings and try to lower down your global illumination from the game so launch the game now after you launch the game go to profile and then go to settings go to video options and for me everything is fine when it is set to automatic so in case if you have the quality is set to ultra high then you can go ahead and select maybe high or you can select medium or maybe low and check which one is working fine with you for me when it is set to automatic everything is fine i am able to play the game without any issue now scroll down now in case if your setting is set to high or ultra scroll down and here you can see global illumination quality so go ahead and set it to if it's ultra high go ahead and set it to high or maybe medium so try to lower down the quality for global illumination and then you can go ahead and apply the settings and then you can go ahead and restart the game once again so that should go ahead and fix the problem now the next step is to perform clean boot to perform clean boot type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all then click on apply and then click on ok i already did it so it's grayed out in your case it will be highlighted so make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on disable all then click on apply then click on okay and then you will see the restart option so restart your computer and then try to launch the game also make sure that you close all the background application which is running on the computer so if you have anything else running go ahead and make sure that you close everything except your game in steam and also go to settings and go ahead and type in background apps and then make sure that this background apps is turned off now the next step is for laptop users with dual graphic card so um, open nvidia control panel and then go to manage 3d settings and then select program settings add the game exe file select high performance nvidia processor and then click on apply and you can also do this from graphic settings so go ahead and type in graphic settings so if you have amd so open graphic settings and then click on browse and go to the game installation folder so open steam folder then open steam apps common folder and then open dirt 5 select the exe file click on add and then click on options select high performance and then click on save and then try to launch the game the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program and if you are using windows security allow the game exe file to control folder access so i don't have any antivirus program any third party so if you have any third party antivirus just make sure that you allow the game exe file to and to your antivirus program and for windows security go to the settings and then click on update and security and go to windows security then click on virus and threat protection scroll down and then here you can see ransomware protection click on manage ransomware protection now if this is on which says control folder access if this is on click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder once again and select the game exe file then click on open and this will add the game exe file over here and then you can go ahead and try to launch the game the next step is to verify the steam verify the game files in steam so open steam 
make a right click then click on properties go to local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files and once this is done try to launch the game if nothing is working then you can go ahead and uninstall and reinstall the game so you can go ahead and click on uninstall delete all the game files and delete all the save files you will lose the progress and after that you can restart your computer and then reinstall the game so one of the steps should definitely help you to get your game working properly on windows computer so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel